Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this year's Intercultural Achievement Award ceremony. We had hoped together with you in person to honor the dedicated intercultural work of our laureates. However, due to recent measures to curb the COVID-19 outbreak in Austria, we had to change the format to a purely virtual event. My name is Maria Hama. I work as a journalist at ORF, Austria's national broadcasting company, and I had the honor of being the master of ceremony in previous years already. Over the next half an hour, we will be celebrating the Intercultural Achievement Award. Listen to the speeches of the Austrian Foreign Minister and the Austrian Minister for Women, Families, Youth and Integration and honor the winners of the Intercultural Achievement Award 2021. Let's get started with the presentation of the Intercultural Achievement Award. Intercultural dialogue allows us to prevent ethnic, religious, linguistic and cultural divides to deal with our different identities constructively and democratically on the basis of shared universal values. The Intercultural Achievement Award, IAA, was launched in 2014 and recognizes groundbreaking projects worldwide in the following international categories, sustainability, recent events, innovation, media and technology. For Austrian civil society organizations, it offers special awards for integration and for best Austrian project. To date, around 1,500 project applications of NGOs of 96 countries were submitted, leading to over 70 projects being recognized and awarded a total of 346,000 euros. The Intercultural Achievement Award, IAA, aims at identifying best practices, enhancing recognition of intercultural projects locally, and enabling the emergence of new international civil society networks. The Intercultural Achievement Award, honoring organizations that make a difference. It is now my honor to present the Austrian Foreign Minister Michael Dienhardt. Federal Minister Susanne Raab, the distinguished laureates, ladies and gentlemen. In the past one and a half years, lockdowns, masks, social distancing, and the way too many online meetings have characterized many of our human interactions or lack thereof. While modern technologies allowed us to stay in touch, we have all felt how important it is to meet people and to personally interact with them. Ladies and gentlemen, the pandemic is still not over and we are indeed facing some challenging times. Unfortunately, the current measures still do not allow us to welcome you at today's ceremony in person. But this virtual gala enables us to celebrate the winners of this year's Intercultural Achievement Award and continue with intercultural dialogue, even with limited opportunities. For the year 2021, over 250 submissions from 53 countries competed for the award. Our independent jury selected outstanding projects from Albania, Austria, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Indonesia, Lebanon and Nigeria. I'm particularly happy that this year's projects have such a strong focus on youth. Many civil society organizations have recognized that we can only build a sustainable, peaceful society with the help of our young generation. Intercultural and interreligious dialogue initiatives can positively influence young people. Such dialogues make us more resilient against intolerant and extremist influences and encourage the next generation to assume an active role in solving our national and global challenges alike. Tonight we are also launching a new website, intercultural-achievement.com, that is designed to become a useful best practice repository of the most outstanding intercultural and interreligious projects. I would like to invite you to browse through all the wonderful projects that have been submitted since the introduction of the award in 2014. 
I'm convinced that this platform will further promote a broader dissemination of best practices in the intercultural and interreligious field and increase networking opportunities between NGOs. Dear representatives of civil society, your innovative and essential contributions pave the way for a better future for all of us. It is only by working together that we can hope to successfully address the enormous challenges that we are facing today and create new perspectives. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, I would like to extend our sincere gratitude to our sponsors, the Future Fund of the Republic of Austria, the Austrian Development Agency and the Austrian Integration Fund for their continued commitment. We hope that the Intercultural Achievement Award will continue to provide useful recognition and support for best practice initiatives worldwide, contribute to personal growth and transformation and promote tolerance and respect. Thank you. And now the Austrian Minister for Women, Families, Youth and Integration, Susanne Rapp. Dear Minister Linhardt, distinguished laureates and representatives of the civil society, ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute honor and pleasure to support the Intercultural Achievement Award and together with my distinguished colleague, Minister Michael Linhardt, welcome you to the virtual award ceremony. The award ceremony of the Intercultural Achievement Award could not have come at a more important time. The COVID-19 pandemic has put a lot of strain on our healthcare systems, on the economies, but most of all in our societies. For a long time, we had to socially distance. We had to stay away from each other in order to stay safe. Even more importantly, in times when our societies appear to be divided in many questions, it is all the more important to visualize and celebrate what unites us. This is why the Intercultural Achievement Award ceremony could not have come at a more better time now. It is testament to the amazing and inspiring work each and every one of us is doing every day to bring people from different cultural backgrounds and all walks of life together. The Intercultural Achievement Award therefore not only honors initiatives that support intercultural dialogue, but also integration. In view of increasing diversity, it is of critical importance to see eye to eye and to act and engage in dialogue with different communities based on our common values. The rule of law and principles which we in Austria and in the European Union have recognized and in which we are acting with uh, as our fundamental standards. In Austria, we therefore see integration as a comprehensive process involving society as a whole, which is crucial for social cohesion, but also for equal opportunities and a willingness to perform. Therefore, one of our guiding basic principles is integration through achievement. Regardless of gender, cultural background, religion or sexual orientation, but by contributing to our society through education, labor or volunteering. Volunteering is indeed one tool for both integration and intercultural dialogue. Voluntary initiatives contribute to successful integration through their rich in function and, among other things, promote intercultural and interreligious exchange and dialogue. I'm therefore delighted to support the Intercultural Achievement Awards ceremony today, where successful and innovative proje projects, initiatives in the field of intercultural dialogue are once again brought to the fore. With their commitment and support, all award winners make an enormously important contribution to strengthening trust between people of different linguistic, cultural, religious or social backgrounds. I therefore warmly congratulate this year's award winners. The Intercultural Achievement Award is bestowed upon in different categories. We start with this year's winner in the category Sustainability, coming from Bosnia and Herzegovina, followed by a video message by the organization's representative, Mr. Vahidin Omanovic.
Opportunities is a project organized by the Center for Peacebuilding, CIM. It is located in the northwestern region of Bosnia and Herzegovina in the town of Sanski Most. The Garden of Opportunities serves as a community space where sustainability is fostered in both ecological and societal aspects. People from diverse ethnical and religious backgrounds jointly develop, apply, and promote approaches for sustainable agriculture in the Garden of Opportunities. The Center for Peacebuilding also organizes peace camps, youth trainings, and other grassroots peacebuilding activities in the garden, and offers their space for other organizations and partners working in the same field. In this sense, the Peace Farm or Garden of Opportunities is conceived as a place of diversity, not only when it comes to plants and animals, but also as a meeting place of different people, a place of creation, exchange, and realization of various ideas. This year's award in the category Sustainability is presented to the Garden of Opportunities because of its active engagement of youth in a holistic approach to sustainability in ecological as well as social terms. It is a great honor for us at the Center for Peace Building to receive the Intercultural uh, Achievement Award 2021 for our project Garden of Possibilities. This is for us a great recognition and another motivation to continue to develop uh, a place that's going to be a place for everybody to come meet and create a better, better future for all of us. We continue with the winner in the category Recent Events, coming from Lebanon, followed by a video message by the organization's representative, Mr. Kasim Istanbuli. in southern Lebanon, the nonprofit organization Tiro Association for Arts established the project Arab Culture and Arts Network in 2020 during the COVID-19 crisis. Cultural activists with the intention to strengthen cultural solidarity in the Arab region originally initiated the project. The network offers artistic workshops as well as radio programs that tackle social issues and devotes its attention to creating a virtual network of culture and arts. Overall, it presents a cultural bridge between countries from the Middle East by connecting artists and artistic institutions from various countries of the region. The project therefore opens an intercultural and interreligious dialogue through art. The Arab Culture and Arts Network wins in the category Recent Events because it reacted creatively to the increasing difficulties of the artistic community in an already challenging context by setting up an exchange and dialogue network to allow cultural communities to support each other. Marhaba min Madinat Sur min Lebanon. Kan nafsna al yom nkun ma'kun bi Vienna. Nashkur kull al-nas li amanu bi hada al-mashru' la yadar inu yahsal a hadi al-jazi, jazi al-injaz bain al-saqafat. Binisbi li alna nahna mniftakhir ka jam'iya Tiro al-Funun wa shabakat al-saqaf al-Funun al-Arabiya akan bi inu hada al-mashru' yadar inu yadar yamal tishbik wa ta'awun bain al-muassasat al-saqafiyya wa al-afrad ala mustawa al-alam. كان الهدف لمواجهة هذه الجائحة نقول إنه وجودنا مرتبط بوجود بعض من أجل التضامن الثقافي من أجل إنه نعمل مقاومة ثقافية هذا اللي بيقدر يعمل تغيير بالمجتمعات والدول لنقدر نحترم ونتقبل ثقافات بعض فتحية لكم ونحن دائما رح نضل محكومون بالأمل ومتمسكون بالحب لنضل نعمل ثقافة وفنون وطلاقي بين الشعوب شكرا لكم قاسم إسطنبولي من المسرح الوطني اللبناني المجاني في مدينة صور. And now to the winner in the category innovation coming from Nigeria, followed by video message by the organization's representative. Established in 2007 in the state of Borno in Nigeria, the Future Prowess Islamic Foundation supports orphans and vulnerable children from households with socioeconomic difficulties with part-time teaching and coordinating livelihood skills. Through educational efforts in Western and Islamic teachings, 
the Foundation is committed to empowering children regardless of their socioeconomic, religious, or ethnic status, making them less susceptible to the extremist influences of terrorist organizations such as Boko Haram. The school provides children with social and psychological support, education, nutrition, medical care, and school uniforms free of charge. Additionally, students receive vocational training in various professions, which enables them to pursue different careers and build independent lives for themselves after their graduation. The Part-Time Teaching and Coordinating Livelihood Skills Project receives the Intercultural Achievement Award in the category Innovation for its inclusive and brave approach to peaceful coexistence and equality in the conflicted region of the Borno State. My name is Zanna Bukar Mustafa, the director of the Future Pro West Islamic Foundation. I wished on behalf of people's students and members of the Future Pro West Foundation, wish to accept the award of intercultural dialogue in the innovative category of which the Future Pro West got the first position. We are exceedingly happy and wish to associate ourselves with this award. Thank you very much. The winner in the category media comes from Indonesia and is followed by a video message by the organization's representative, Mr. Putit Vijana. The project Alternative Narrative from Credible Voices is based in Indonesia. With the Ruanga Brol ID website, it offers interactive community media, which provide alternative narratives to combat extremism. Ruanga Brol.id collects authentic, credible voices from reformed terrorists and IS returnees who share their experiences both online and offline to prevent radicalization. Potential recruits, especially youths, realistic references that they can easily relate to, then generic counter-narrative slogans. The organization aims at connecting with its audience emotionally, rather than purely through rational arguments. The Project Alternative Narrative from Credible Voices wins this year's Intercultural Achievement Award in the category Media for its proactive interventions to prevent and counter violent extremist propaganda by engaging with individuals and communities directly and guiding them towards a peaceful path. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank the Austrian Federal Ministry for European and International Affairs for this year's Intercultural Achievement Award in the category media for Wangobro.id. We are very honored to receive such a prestigious award and humbled by the fact that Wangobro.id works are internationally and more widely recognized. We believe this award will maintain our passion to participate in creating a society that is peaceful and free from violence, especially the violence in the name of religion. We do also hope that this award will enable us to create further collaborations with anybody, with any parties who are interested in such issues. Again, thank you very much for the award on behalf of ID. Thank you very much. Our last international category, Technology, has been introduced this year. The winners come from Albania. Their presentation is followed by a video message by the organization's representative, Mrs. Grisela Hatkai. Located in Albania, the Cooperation and Development Institute supports youth cooperation in the region. Its project, the Western Balkans Youth Cooperation Platform, is a collaborative initiative with the West Balkan Youth Umbrella Organizations from Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, Montenegro, North Macedonia and Serbia. The aim of the platform is to improve the connectivity between the young generations of the Western Balkans region. It runs an online community where young people can exchange ideas, find partners for joint activities, consult a youth library, and build and carry outreach 
as well as lobbying activities. The website also offers practical support, like workshops, discussions, and trainings that involve youth in the region and aims at addressing challenges and planning joint activities. The Western Balkans Youth Cooperation Platform is presented with this year's Intercultural Achievement Award in the category Technology, as it creates an online safe space for grassroots youth initiatives and enables dialogue at a regional level. On behalf of the Cooperation and Development Institute and the Partners of Connecting Youth Platform, the National Youth Congress of Albania, Youth Council of Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo Youth Council, High School Students Union of Montenegro, National Youth Council of Macedonia, and National Youth Council of Serbia, I would like to thank you. This award makes us all very proud of our work carried out so far. Since 2017, the Western Balkan Youth Cooperation Platform, now under the new name Connecting Youth, supported by the Hans Eigel Foundation, brings together around 420 youth organizations and 550 high schools throughout the region on activities, actions, and lobbying on issues directly concerning YAXOS in the region. We cooperate in an online and offline approach and are committed to enhance youth position into policy making and in promoting their connectedness throughout the region and with the European Union. This award recognizes the importance of technology in our work. Our investment in digital connectivity has facilitated our teamwork, especially during the pandemic, where it ensured that we have remained connected and that our work in respecting our trademark bottom-up approach and promoting constructive intercultural coexistence has remained unabated. Building up on our experience and learning from best EU cases, we will continue to invest in youth competencies, networking and advocacy, so as to assure the sustainability and systemic presence in the policy-making areas relevant to youth. This award encourages us to double up our efforts. We now continue with the two Austrian categories and start with the special award for integration, followed by a video message by the organization's representative, Mrs. Katharina Beermosa. The association Soziales Netzwerk Obendorf is based in Obendorf, Salzburg, where it provides integration and social counseling, as well as practical assurance on housing, education, healthcare, employment, and legal issues to those who were granted asylum in Austria. The aim is to facilitate integration and to provide a stepping stone for a new life in a rural Austrian community. The local community is also encouraged to participate in this process through programs such as the Intercultural Café, a bicycle workshop, and a sewing shop, or workshops to promote intercultural and interreligious dialogue. The Integration and Social Counseling Center has helped many migrants adapt more easily to a new social environment, fulfill administrative requirements, and facilitate contact with the locals. The project, ISO Integrations, wins this year's special award for integration for its multidimensional approach in integrating migrants in rural areas. I would like to say thank you also in the name of all of our clients. We really appreciate this award and we are honored to have been chosen to receive it. Social inclusion requires solidarity and this is the main challenge, especially in rural areas in Austria where groups of people from different cultures, religions or ethnicities are often rejected. As a result, migrants and refugees face obstacles that hinder their participation in social, economic and political life. This can lead to social exclusion and parallel societies. During the current corona pandemic in Austria, migrants and refugees have been subject to increased levels of xenophobia and hate, as could be seen also in the last days. As a result, it is more important than ever to highlight the positive role of migrants and refugees and how host communities can benefit from them. Austria still has a long way to go as soon as more people, especially politicians and political parties, realize that we have more things in common than things that divide us, then we can continue along the right path. The last award of tonight goes to the best Austrian project, followed by a video message by the organization's representatives, Mr. Robert Guller and Michael Schaumann. Go 
Digital by the organization Springboard is based in Vienna, where it facilitates bridging the digital divide by means of providing children and adolescents from low-income families with laptops for distance learning. With the introduction of distance learning in 2020, many school children in Austria were prevented from participating in classroom activities due to their limited access to a laptop or computer at home. This digital divide between adolescents of rich and poor families causes social inequality, thus reducing the chances of social mobility for children of low-income families and of those with refugee and migrant backgrounds. The Go Digital project strives to provide these children with the necessary equipment to overcome the difficulties of distance learning. This year's special award for Best Austrian Project honors Go Digital and its promotion of accessibility to education for everyone, irrespective of origin, religion, income, or status. Thank you for us very much for the Intercultural Achievement Awards. It's for us a great bestätigung of our work and a great motivation weiterzumachen. Ohne our team and our Förderer and Unterstützer wäre es nicht möglich gewesen, das Projekt erfolgreich abzuwickeln. Deswegen vielen Dank an alle unsere Unterstützer. Ja, danke auch sehr von meiner Seite. Wir fühlen uns wahnsinnig geehrt. Es ist eine tolle Auszeichnung für uns. Und ähm, was es noch ist, ist eine unglaubliche Motivation, hier weiter zu tun. Wir haben ja schon tolle Vorhaben, was die Digitalisierung, das Digitalisierungsprojekt anbelangt. Wir werden hier noch mehr tun, ja, fühlen uns noch mehr motiviert. Und deswegen ähm, ganz, ganz herzlichen Dank. Tolle Auszeichnung. Danke sehr. Danke. It's been an absolute delight to play a part in this wonderful endeavor. And I would like to sincerely congratulate all winners once again and the task force Dialogue of Cultures in the Austrian Federal Ministry for European and International Affairs for continuing to engage in such a meaningful way with civil society worldwide. Before we end, allow me to briefly introduce the new website of the Intercultural Achievement Award. It aims at being a repository of best practice projects worldwide, allowing you to search according to criteria such as region, countries or categories. We strive to share the great ideas of the participating organizations and encourage you to take inspiration from these ideas. Please register with us so that we can keep you informed of important developments and spread the word so that even more organizations participate in the Intercultural Achievement Awards. The next call, by the way, for applications will start in January 2022. We thank our valuable sponsors, last but not least, including the Austrian Future Fund, the Austrian Development Agency and the Austrian Integration Fund. Goodbye, thank you very much for being with us today.